Hey guys, welcome back to Explore Electronics. Thank you for subscribing our channel and keep following for the different subjects of VTU and we are helping you to make your subject learning easy. In this video, let us see the VTU website and also the scheme and syllabus of the first year what VTU is offering for different branches of engineering. You can see at the left, we will be having vtu.ac.in that is the website of VTU which give you all the information related to the subjects they are going to offer and the courses they are going to offer and all the exam related information and the different branches information and all the related information of university will be available in the same website vtu.ac.in Coming to the scheme and syllabus you can see at the right of the screen there is a BE scheme and syllabus tab of the VTU website this gives you all the details of the syllabus of engineering you just search for BE Scheme and Syllabus of VTU in Google, it will be direct link to this website. Here if you come down, you can see UG Scheme and Syllabus for 1st and 2nd semester 2022 scheme. The current batch that is 2024 batch is also following 2022 scheme itself means the new year syllabus comes in 2022 and that is the syllabus which is following for the current batch also. If you click here, you can see the Streamwise UG programs. This will take you to this tab. Here, there are 52 branches of engineering. They are categorized into four streams. Civil engineering stream is there. Under that, there will be five branches. And computer science engineering stream is there. Under that, there are 16 branches. Similarly, electrical and electronics engineering stream is there. We have nine branches under that. So mechanical engineering stream is there. There are 20 branches under that. So if you look at the first year scheme and syllabus, civil engineering stream, all the branches will be having same syllabus in the first year. And similarly, computer science engineering stream will be having 16 branches. All the students comes under these 16 branches will study same syllabus and the subjects in first year. It will be applicable for electrical engineering and mechanical engineering stream also. It means in first year, the syllabus will be divided as four streams and all four stream students are going to study different subjects with respect to their own branches. Then coming to any one of the stream, let me take electrical and electronic stream over here. In any branch you are in, you will be categorized into physics group and chemistry group. You will be fall under physics group in first semester and you will be in chemistry group in the second semester. Suppose if you get chemistry group in the first semester, then you will be in the physics group in the second semester. Suppose if you assume a electrical student or electronic student comes under electrical and electronics engineering stream, in the physics group, he will be having mathematics first for triple E streams and here also in the chemistry group, you will be having mathematics. So, if you look at the other branch syllabus also, if you look at civil engineering stream syllabus, there will be mathematics as first subject. Even if you look at the mechanical stream subject, first subject will be mathematics. But there are four streams and there are four mathematics subjects here. If you are a civil student, you will be having different mathematics. If you are a mechanical student, you will be having different mathematics. Similarly, it will be applicable to electrical as well as computer science students. If you are having mathematics one for CSC stream, it will be different from mathematics one from civil engineering stream. So what I mean to say is, if you are in physics group, don't think all the subjects will be same for the civil engineering, mechanical engineering, electrical engineering and computer science engineering streams. The subjects will be named same, but the code, if, is, if you check, they are different. And also the content of the mathematics and physics and chemistry subjects are also different. Now let us go into the electrical and electronics engineering stream and see what are all the subjects there. Now at the left we will be having a physics group comes under electrical engineering stream and they will be having mathematics ones for electrical stream students and you will be having physics and the third subject is elements of electrical engineering or basic electronics engineering. Elements of electrical engineering will be given to the students of electrical branch and basic electronics will be given for the electronics and communication and telecommunication and electronics and instrumentation students. So, here the third subject will be changed depending on the particular branch of electronics and electrical engineering stream. 
If you are a triple E student, you will get electrical engineering and you need to study that. If you are a electronics and communication branch students, you need to study basic electronics in place of the third subject. And the fourth subject is engineering science courses one. And the fifth subject is emerging technology course one or programming language courses. Means emerging science course one is there are different subjects comes under that. You can see engineering science courses one emerging technology courses one is there. Under emerging technology courses, there are different subjects given over here. Students can opt these subjects. Students, if if they are interested to learn in smart materials and systems, or green buildings, or nanotechnology, or there are different subjects here like embedded systems, cyber security, Internet of Things, and biosensors, waste management, renewable energy sources. Out of these, one subject can be taken in place of engineering science courses. and also emerging technology courses this becomes your fourth subject and this becomes your fifth subject or the programming language course can also be taken in place of fifth subject in the programming language courses you can see over here you will be having options for web development or web programming python programming java programming and c++ programming it means vtu is offering students for uh, with the different subjects if you are interested in web programming you can take this if you are interested in python programming learning from the first semester itself you can take this these three subjects subject number 5 6 are chosen by the students itself so you can talk to your subject lectures or the hod of the related branch and you can get the subjects of your choice so this is for the uh, students of first semester comes under physics group similarly if you are studying in the physics group in the first semester you will be landing into chemistry group in the second semester in the second semester you will be having mathematics too and chemistry for uh, your particular branch electrical and electronics engineering and then computer aided engineering drawing will be there in chemistry group this subject is common for all here the cat tool will be used to draw the mechanical engineering things and civil and mechanical engineering department lectures are going to teach that subject and comes to the fourth subject again engineering science group 2 is there here here also in engineering science group 2 you will be having different subjects civil engineering electrical engineering introduction to electronics communication mechanical engineering and c programming any of these subjects can be taken by any of the uh, course students if they are willing to learn electrical engineering they can take this and these courses are introduction to those branches we can say that's why engineering science group will be having all the major branch uh, subjects if you are really interested in programming you can take c programming in place of that so fourth subject here also is chosen by the students so students can opt one subject in the first semester out of engineering science course 1 and also in the second semester out of engineering science course 2 and coming to the fifth subject here also there is a choice you can take programming language course 2 or emerging technology course 2 in the first semester you will be taking one among them in the second semester you need to take other one it is like that so fourth and fifth subjects will be choice of the students and if if some colleges are going to give a particular subject itself for all the students as common you can take that otherwise you can talk to your hods and get those subjects for your benefit and then comes to the sixth subject here you can see in the first semester communicative english is there our professional writing skills in english is there and similarly in the second semester also you can see same subjects but the thing is in the first semester if you take uh, communicative english in the second semester you need to take professional writing skills in english there are two subjects in related to english here in the first and second semester so one subject is professional writing skills this will improve your writing skills in english and one more subject is communicative english that will improve your communication skills in english similarly since vtu comes under karnataka they are offering kannada subject also in first semester itself if you are a kannadiga if you are a karnataka student then you need to take sanskrutika kannada as your kannada subject if you are a other state to student then you need to take balake kannada or indian constitution means in out of kannada you need to take one subject in first semester in the second semester you will be allocated with indian constitution so indian constitution also very important subject here you will be learning all the basic rules 
comes under constitution. So, Samskutika Kannada or Balake Kannada will be decided on which location student you are from. If you are Kannadiga, you need to learn Samskutika Kannada. And Indian constitution you will be learning in other semester. And then comes to the last subject, that is 8th subject. Innovation design thinking is the subject if you take in first semester. In the second semester, you need to, you need to take scientific foundation of health. Or in the first semester, if they give SFH, in the second semester, they will be offering you innovation design thinking. These are all the eight subjects you will be having in first and second semester. Totally eight plus eight subjects. And you can see over here, there are total 800 marks. And also the credit system is uh, applied now. Total 20 credits you need to earn to clear the subject in the first semester. And also 20 credit in the second semester. So you need to earn totally 40 points or the 40 credits in the first and second semester to get through. This is about the electrical and electronics engineering stream. Even if you see the computer science engineering subjects, here also mathematics is there, applied physics is there. But these are with respect to the streams which you are in. If you are in computer science stream, the mathematics one will be with respect to the requirement in the CS stream. Similarly, physics with respect to the requirement in the CS stream. And for the computer science students, programming using C is very much important and they kept it in the first semester itself. By default, you are going to learn the programming using C subject in the first semester itself. And in the second semester, again, you need to take the uh, CAD subject that is computer aided engineering drawing. That's why in the chemistry group, we will be having a mandatory subject called computer aided engineering drawing for all the different branches of engineering and all, all the streams of engineering also. And only fifth and uh, fourth are the different subjects you can take by your own. And uh, the list of the courses will be given in the third page of this scheme and syllabus. To download this scheme and syllabus, you just go to the VTU website and search for scheme and syllabus. Otherwise, you can uh, Google it. You will be landing in this page. Here you can easily find the UG scheme and syllabus 2022 scheme. This 2022 scheme syllabus itself will be valid for 2024 also. And after that, if you come down, you can see the each and every subject syllabus. If you are a civil engineering stream uh, student, you can see these five subjects are related to civil and then comes CSC stream and then comes electrical stream and then comes mechanical stream. You can see all the subjects syllabus here itself. No need to search anywhere. You just come and search in the VTU website. You will be getting the complete syllabus of the course. You can see this is the common courses list and here you can see the engineering courses and then emerging technology courses also. If you want to uh, look at the any syllabus, you can just click over the syllabus. It will take you to the complete syllabus. It will give you the course title and also the subject code and then how many marks it will cover and what are all the credits and what is the objective of the course and how the teaching learning process will be and whether it is an integrated course, does it have a lab, all the information given in the syllabus copy itself. And from here onwards, you can see module wise syllabus. Usually there will be five modules in the each and every subjects you are going to learn. Module 1, Module 2, Module 3, Module 4 and Module 5 you can see it here. And exam will be for the 100 marks and that 100 marks will be splitted as 50 marks. Uh, there will be reduced into 50 marks as the main exam marks and CIE that is internals will be conducted for 50 marks. And total the subject will carry 100 marks and it is a 3 hours SE exam and total credits will be 3. So all the information you will get once you get into the syllabus copy itself. If you put this code in a Google with the uh, VTU syllabus as a keyword, you will be landing in this page. This is about the first year syllabus and how to get into the syllabus copy and what are all the subjects present. And remember, in place of engineering science courses and emerging technology courses and programming language courses, there are multiple subjects. Please go through this document and find your subjects of interest. Then you can learn the subject in the first semester and the second semester itself. This is all about the information about VTU website and the scheme and syllabus, which is applicable for 2024 scheme. Keep on watching Explore Electronics. You can see over here, there are multiple subjects are covered starting from the syllabus and also 
throughout the syllabus what and all the contents there and you can also see the model question paper solutions in the explore electronics page so please visit explore electronics if you are not subscribed yet please subscribe to the channel thank you